Oxygen OS 11 has landed on OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro devices as the Android 11 Beta 3, but it might prove to be the biggest overhaul the third party skin has seen for some time. But let's see what it brings to the table. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Probably the most requested feature in Oxygen OS for some time. OnePlus has dragged their heels for years, but now we finally have an always on display option within Oxygen OS 11. So far it works just as you'd expect, you lock your smartphone and when the device is locked, you'll be able to get key information at a glance without actually touching your device. You can customize the clock style within the customization section and you'll recognize many of the existing designs. Should you prefer battery longevity, you can tweak the settings of the always on ambient display to only run on a schedule, which is a really neat touch, we must admit. We've noted previously that the Oxygen OS 11 beta build does bear an uncanny resemblance to Samsung's One UI. The app spacing, white space or blank space is taken right out of the South Korean manufacturer's software playbook. This is quite a departure from the clean and basically stock look and feel that Oxygen OS has cultivated in recent years. It does help with one-handed reachability, but does sometimes feel as though the space is being poorly utilized. You might also notice a weird variety of tabs when using certain applications, such as the settings app. This is particularly jarring compared to the original Oxygen OS we all know and love. This overhaul does even extend as far as the initial setup screen and everywhere in between. Also included in the new updated UI as part of Oxygen OS 11 is a brand new font. OnePlus Sans looks like it might replace the ever-present OnePlus Slate as the default font on current and future smartphones. You can still opt for Google's own Roboto, but otherwise you'll still see OnePlus Sans almost everywhere else. As part of this updated UI, you'll see some new default apps that apply the reachability principles that have been touted with Oxygen OS 11. OnePlus Messages, the Gallery and Dialer apps have all been altered to take advantage of this new updated interface choice. We're not actually sure how the new system apps will affect the partnership OnePlus struck to use Google Messages over their original default. However, the OnePlus Messages, Weather, Notes, Gallery and some others have been tweaked to include larger typefaces and what you'd probably have to call a cleaner aesthetic. These updated designs do feel more cohesive with the rest of the Oxygen OS 11 interface, but simultaneously feel like quite a departure from previous iterations. An excellent, if underused, digital mindfulness inclusion, Zen Mode has been overhauled with the release of the final Oxygen OS 11 Beta 2. You're now able to set Zen Mode length in more increments, including an odd one minute option. That means you'll be able to set limits from 1, 20, 30, 40, 60, 90, and up to 120 minute increments. That's not all though, as there is a fresh lick of paint to fit with the rest of the updated Oxygen OS look and feel. Probably one of the neatest new additions though is the ability to join a Zen mode room. This lets fellow OnePlus users essentially team up to take time away from their devices, and we must admit we really do like this new addition. Definitely one for the customization crowd, the Oxygen OS 11 Beta 3 even includes a new live wallpaper that is supposed to change slightly throughout the course of a day. To be completely honest, I have yet to see any notable differences throughout the 24 hour period testing the software, but it is another nice customization option for you to choose from. Given how close we are to the official release of Android 11 for Pixel hardware, this build of Oxygen OS 11 is likely based upon Beta 2 or Beta 3 which means it is probably pretty final or close to being final. We're sure more notable new features and software tweaks will surface. Is this too much of a drastic change from OnePlus? Let us know down in the comments section below. Until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.